morning, church. My name is Choice Baloi. I come from Soweto, Lufering. Hallelujah. I came here to thank God for what he did to me. Hallelujah. Uh, I came on April for one-on-one. -on -one. It was Tuesday this year. I was sick. I was very sick. I was weak. Mm, I had a problem, heart attack, and high blood pressure. Okay, before you go on, madam, where did you go to look for solution before coming to Shagana Glossed Ministries? Uh, for solution, I was just going to the churches where I know there is deliverance. And for high blood, um, I even went to the hospital. To, to, to the clinic and in 2017 uh, I was taking the medication and that medication when I was taking the medication it was worse so I left the medication I did not use the medication again and then when I came here, I was like, even the short breath, I have that thing of short breath. So, uh, the prophet said to me, I did not tell him what was bothering me, but he said to me that day that this sickness will not listen to the pills. This sickness will not listen to any medication, but the sickness will also listen to God. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Say, neighbor, when a problem refuses to yield to the power of medication, it simply becomes a curse. And who can remove a curse? He is none other than Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Madam, so to be specific, for how long did you have these various challenges in your health? Uh, the high blood pressure, I realized it in 2010, by the time I was expecting a baby. And then the, the heart attack in 2015. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So after you come to Shakana Closet Ministries, what did the man of God say and what were some of the, what actually encouraged your faith to know that your healing is here? Uh, the man of God said to me that I need God's mercy. So he said, uh, I need to go to the, the, to the mountain, prayer mountain, Yes, to the prayer mountain. And then after that, uh, I need to, to come and sleep here at the church. After the prayer mountain. And then after that, I needed to, to be on prayer line. So I did come to the prayer mountain. And then he prayed for me. And then after that, I slept here at the church, begging for mercy. And then when I was there, sleeping, in the dream, I saw the man of God stretching the hand to me like this. And then I thought, I am covered. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, madam, what were the symptoms you used to have that you don't have anymore at this point in time? 
uh, it was like even if I'm a pastor, I have a, a church. Even if I'm preaching, so most of the time I was supposed to lean on the pulpit because I, I, was, I, I was weak. It was hard for me. Sometimes I will sit on the chair because I was failing. But now I can preach standing and then I can pray for people. Put your hands together for tired. Jesus Christ. Make it louder, people of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Even here on the steps to come here, it was hard for me. I was supposed to lean on the wall for me to come here. But still, I will be tired. But now I can just walk like as if I'm walking not on steps. I'm getting strength more and more. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Madam, so after what the Lord Jesus Christ has done to your life through God's servant, Prophet Isaka, what can you say to people who are going through the same challenges you are you having in the past? I can say uh, they must put their trust to this God, God of Prophet Isaka. Put your because hands together I for Jesus him. Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ once more. And finally, in your own words, please tell us your word of advice to viewers who are listening at home and people here. I can advise people that no matter what the challenge you are facing, don't give up God. God is the answer. No matter what, and God is God of no failure. He will never fail you. Trust in him always and don't give up. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Madam, we want to encourage you, as the Bible says, that those whose lives are centered in Christ Jesus, better is not good enough, but the best is yet to come. As you continue to make God's way the standard of your life, we believe that the best is yet to come in your health, in your ministry, and all that has to do with you in Jesus Christ's name.